This is crazy, we're friends. Not really. On screen, these co-stars are usually the best of friends, but off screen, eh, not so much. This episode is brought to you by Transformers The Last Night. Check it out in theaters Wednesday, June 21st. Tickets now on sale. Sorry for bursting your bubbles, but things that happen on TV aren't always real. I know, I know. Sometimes we all just want to believe our favorite duos on TV are besties in real life. But unfortunately, that's just not the way things are. In fact, Drake Bell and Josh Peck recently broke our hearts this past week when one half of the former Nickelodeon duo decided to cut ties with his brother for good. And it was all good because he wasn't invited to Josh's wedding. In a series of tweets, Drake wrote, quote, when you're not invited to the wedding, the message is clear. True colors have come out today. The message is loud and clear. Ties are officially cut. I'll miss you, brother. Honestly, that was a little dramatic, but we're still sad about it either way. Another dynamic Nickelodeon duo that fell by the wayside was none other than Ariana Grande and Jeanette McCurdy, AKA Sam and Kat. On screen, the two were the best of friends who started a babysitting business, but when the show ended, well, so did their friendship. While there was technically no bad blood between Ari and Jeanette after they parted ways when Sam and Kat ended, Jeanette kind of made it seem otherwise when an episode on her web series featured a character by the name of Gloriana who had a high-pitched singing voice and was low-key annoying. Ooh, 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 ooh. Holy b Sarah Bronson. I haven't seen you in like, I don't know, a week? Oh my God, I'm joining you. Kind of makes you wonder who Gloriana was modeled after, huh? Because you know, they don't hate each other. Gloriana, Ariana, rhymes. Just saying, anyway, moving on. To no one's surprise, Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush definitely don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Although the two were able to work together for four more years after their brief five month marriage ended, it's clear they didn't really end up on good terms because Sophia made this comment about her ex-husband on an episode of Watch What Happens Live. But my mother once said to me that if you don't have anything nice to say, not to oh. say anything at all. I guess it just goes to show that sometimes dating co-stars is not a good idea. But that lesson was not taken into consideration when Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens decided to date. We all know the two starred in the TV movie phenomenon, High School Musical, and dated for quite some time after the HSM camera stopped rolling. But once the two parted ways, the communication between them also stopped. But you, do, but you don't talk to Zach much? Um, no, Not I really. completely lost contact with him. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Um, I guess she just had to go her own way. Rachel and Satana had a somewhat rocky relationship on screen, but off screen, Leah Michelle and Naya Revere's relationship was non-existent. That's not to say the two weren't friends in the beginning, because they were. But in Naya's book, Sorry Not Sorry, the actress revealed that by the time season six of Glee rolled out, Leah did not say a single word to her co-star, basically ending whatever friendship they had all together. It's pretty much safe to assume that to this day, Naya and Leah don't speak at all. Were you surprised by any of these? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me right here on Clever News. I'm your host, Jackie Idenisi. See you guys next time. Look over to the left for a recap of this week's Bachelorette on True Showmance and to the right to check out the latest trailer for Transformers The Last Night and catch it in theaters starting Wednesday, June 21st. Tickets now on sale.